It's really incredible that all of these buildings on the property were built, designed and built by de Grazia. Later, uh, he moves to Tucson to go to the university here, where he uh, wasn't really a great painter when he first started painting. You'll see that, say. Um, he thought that being an artist is something that you just did. You know, you, you worked hard at it, and he definitely worked hard. We have here, just in our collection, over 15,000 originals. Those were his boots, and this was his paint kit, and that was his real cowboy hat. These are ornaments he made from recycled toilet floats. <laughs> when they used to be made out of metal. This did all the doors, you know, designed and built everything here in the buildings. This is made out of silver. This is a carousel. He liked carousels. It reminded him of when he was young. Once he began to get famous, more famous, and people were coming and going all the time, he didn't want people going into his house, so he painted this abstract piece and put it right over the door. So if we were to take that down, we would be able to walk through the door and be in the entryway of his, his second home. Different. Look at the ornaments on the tree. Different. I like this one. Okay. There's you know artwork out here. People carved in wood and walls, rocks. We have all sorts of instruments. Uh, people come here from all over the world. They leave things behind, like candles, photos. Uh, we have a lot of like remains of people. Really? <laughs> this, is, this is where he's buried. And um, he was born in 09, died in 82. He was 73 when he died. He died of cancer. Normally, you're not allowed to be buried on your own property, but De Grazia somehow was. Christmas was his favorite time of year since he was raised Catholic. And. Um, friends built him this permanent Christmas tree and people come and they leave pennies on it, you know, uh, say prayers, make wishes. He's an artist of many styles. 